options of asbestos started Hui Hui took some deliberation at a meeting yesterday by the Minister of Environment, Health Department, Environment Department and other stakeholders as officials tried to find the best way to solve the long-standing concern. The three options of the asbestos saga, export into New Zealand, bury in Niue or into the sea. At this stage, Mr Tongatule said the second option of burying the asbestos on Niue is the most favourable at the moment. Director of Environment Sawini Tongatule said it will be a little while yet before an option can be finalised as different areas need to be taken into account when decisions are made. Mr Tongatule said the project received just over $100,000 but the uh, unfortunately, the money is not sufficient to also cover the removal of asbestos. That part of the project will be targeted in the future. But the most important issue at present is the removal of the asbestos from Hui Hui. The first removal is expected to take place as soon as a decision is reached on what option to take. New developments into the derelict houses demolition order saga has a public notice issued by the New Health Department and Crown Law Office this week. Following an investigation and assessment into the derelict houses carried out in May to July 2010, the Public Health Division deemed 63 houses as unfit for use or occupation under Section 48 of the New Public Health Act 1965. The matter was presented to the New High Court in May, this year requesting for a demolition order to be granted, but was rejected by the judge due to insufficient information supplied to support the request. It was noted that there was need for more evidence on ownership, proof of condition of the house. The Health Department also acknowledged that it had received feedback from some of the house owners who have either objected to the demolition order, agreed to demolish but retain the foundation or agree to the demolition order. As part of requirements, this public notice issued this week is to ensure that proper and fair notice has been given to house owners to seek cooperation and all interested parties has been given until the 23rd of September to respond. Demolition orders for the derelict houses are set for the November court hearing. Government officials met with the various women's group around representatives yesterday to discuss plans for women's development on the island. The meeting covered various issues such as to gauge what support groups would like more from government and also an opportunity to instill a sense of confidence in government to deliver any assistance available. Covered um, assistance that government uh, has now um, given or and has now approved uh, for women's development on Niue and other issues uh, which were to do with the National Council or the national machinery um, of women's development in Niue. Normally government provides a lump sum of $10,000 to the National Council of Women Last year, government decided they will give $5,000 to the National Council of Women and withhold the other $5,000 for other groups outside of the National Council of Women. Um, so that's, that was started last year. Now this year, we've also added a new policy because we found that last year they were asking for things to do with prizes. Uh, they were asking for assistance for prizes for show days. So this year, the policy is... $500 is the ceiling for any um, community group or any women's group and they can ask for um, money to buy paints or to to help with their handicraft centre or buy any raw materials that they need. Um, we do prefer income generating um, ideas or activities and we'd like to fund those. <coughs> Others include um, things to do with uh, just general uh, handicraft uh, making uh, activities for even for the younger generation anything to do with uh, family health uh, healthy living like vegetable gardens anything to do with women's development um, anything to do with education things like that I mean there are only two restrictions for funds the groups are not to use funds to pay themselves or for price money 
Although not many groups have developed proposals for these funds, it is available and open to all women's groups and more information is available from Community Affairs. Also on the agenda were discussions in regards to the management of the new Council of Women with an expected election of a new committee to be carried out in the next few weeks. Work on Matawai Resort has continued by the new owners with a wide extension to the southern part of the resort. Previous negotiations by the trust that bought Matawai also saw the project halt for a confirmation of the lease, which has not been legalised yet, but landowners have given consent for the trust to continue their development. According to the Justice Department, the confirmation of lease is but a formality. However, Judge Wilson Isaac, who heard the case at the beginning of the year, also withheld signing of the lease when the newer development bank decided to force Matawai to settle their debt at the bank. Unfortunately, we cannot confirm whether the bank has received their money or not. And previous dialogues with one of the trustees of the New Zealand Trust suggests the responsibility of the quarter of a million dollars owed to the bank lays with the newer government. The expansion of Matawai Resort is set to add much needed accommodation numbers for the island. To end our news bulletin, the New Republic Library is closed until further notice. This week is plans for relocation are in motion. The public library has been moved around over the past few years from Tufukia, but after damages due to Cyclone Heta, it was relocated to the Community Affairs Department and last year down to the former administration building near the police station. Now it is expected to be shifted once again, hopefully to a more permanent location at the Newey High School. This new location will be more accessible for students, but whether this will be convenient for members of the public and what implications this may have to access, especially within school grounds, is an issue that needs to be addressed. This week, however, has been spent packing up what further discussions to the finer details for the relocation of the library are to be finalised by the Education Department. We will bring you more on this story in our future news bulletin. That's our news bulletin for tonight. Good evening.